Hi, Wes again, Ideal Homes. I still can't, uh, I don't know, I was thinking to start to put on a schedule every day when the sun is over 20 and the temperature is over 20. It's a really good temperature and uh, it's 5th of October, which means 23 in the car was the day about two hours ago. Now I think it's about 25 and a little breezy, but it's still wonderful, wonderful. And it's pet 5th of October. So we got already the fourth month start. Uh, I mean, the fifth month of the summer already start. So I'm here in town called Pavlikeni. It's a very popular place for a lot of people. So they can uh, uh, know about the town. A lot of buyers, a lot of people, even some young guys were curious who am I and what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, it's really, really nice place. And uh, a lot of developments last five years, I can say for sure. And uh, the place we're going to put on the market is this house there. You can see that it's a good asphalt road. You know, it's still still uh, a lot of uh, going on because it's a uh, end of the agriculture year and all the lorries with grapes like this lorries deliver grapes so it's a very rich soil here in the town so we are going to put on the market i want to just to show the area around you can see it's a it's a lovely good clean tidy area people look after their gardens you know and you can see outside. This is really, really nice to see when the people are so, so, so uh, happy to live here and to look after the place. So we can see we have a garage, which is start from here next to the next property, go all the way. The fence, it's finished here. It's a town property, so we don't expect the land to be so big. So the full land is about 380 square meters. This is what I have been told by the owners, but I'll have a look in the deed as well. Uh, the good thing is that you have some garden in front of the house, you have some garden at the back of the house, plus some extra buildings. And the house is really big. You're going to see this in a video inside. Very useful and very nice for, very easy going for, um, for, um, uh, wheelchairs as well for old people or people with health problems. So let me show you what is we have inside the garden first, but I'm going closer to show you the fence. So it's a brick built fence covered by the stones with a beautiful, beautiful, oh my God, I can see my, uh, my, uh, my face here, my shade. Uh, and, uh, and more than what I'm And there's somebody want to ask me about the stones, but I don't know anything about the stones anyway. So it's a lovely, it's not a real stones. This is just the tile, stone tiles. It's been covered, it's been painted. So we go here now and see inside the garden, which I told you about the living area garden. And you can see it's not that big, but the lady has this like a small Christmas trees with some flowers, lovely roses, beautiful, beautiful roses. And uh, yeah, this is not a big area, but you can have this and look after the garden, uh, just enjoy. Actually, this has been done just to enjoy, you know? And you can see the fence next to the neighbor. This is the original stones, which stones has been plastered a bit, and there is a concrete color above them. It's a good one, and the net. So this net is transparent, and you can see the neighbor's property. But what I think is very easy, you can put from there, you can put a proper timber and you can put the timber from from here up to up to there so the neighbor even not overlook uh, your garden look at this beautiful beautiful garden hello my friend he wants to talk with me 14 years old boy beautiful you're you're, you're the young teenager <laughs> okay and we have these nice like a type of a pear tree there so the garden is a garden you got this concrete path and you got the garage. So let's go and have a look at the garage. It's a, I can say it's not so high, but maybe you can put something between the, like a, a bit higher than this one, like a four by four, which is, uh, which is good. 
you know you have another about 20 25 nearly foot above this so yeah uh, I know that it's a bit of slope so it's for a proper car maybe not not exactly big jeeps like very high like you know Land Rovers and stuff but I think Land Rover is going down so it could be going here maybe as well so a nice garage electric insulation on the roof insulation outside you can have a look and see this door you can open them and you have the 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 door outside the road but this one here i can say this one here has been done for using this premise as something else because you know if you want you can leave the car outside it will be much more difficult it's better to have a garage here because outside is a bit um, you know like you can see the road if you put your car but you can put your car here maybe nobody will be complain if you put your car on the pavement that's why the pavement is going this way you know to make an access for the car in. so while I'm here I want to show the insulation this insulation everybody knows it's called siding insulation the newest one and the garage has this part of insulation plus you can see the whole house has this insulation it's really insulated the house has insulation from this side and there is inside insulation as well it's really good and thick insulation so it's insulated everywhere you can have a look and see and it's the ground floor is made by stone you can have a look and see the thickness look at this so all this insulated properly pvc window and good double glazed and have a look here also underneath the the roof is insulated underneath so you get the proper insulation everywhere and it's a brick the second floor these steps are like this but you always can put them the original steps concrete one you can put them covered by wood if you want or you can cover by tiles of course the not slippery tiles because of the snow but <clears throat> always been done really good and properly you can see pvc doors here and the insulation there absolutely amazing it's a good insulation and inside it's very easy because this town is connected to the main gas so you're going to see that the heating is sorted out by electric air cones by gas connections plus ooze burner and all this goes to the radiator so you have three options for heat the house you know and one of the options give you to cool the house Okay, so look at the insulation here. It's everywhere. So I hope you can see it's a bit darker here, but I can see it. So again, the stone walls, they're very thick, proper insulation everywhere. All the pipes from this is the premise where the heating system is. Look at this and the tiles like on the fence. So it's a really, really good condition. And what I like, this house belongs to people who always look after the land, the property. They have a, a agriculture land not far away here. They had, sorry, agriculture land, which is not far away from here. And they used to garden and do the gardening. So they organize the property very handy. People buy this one, come and live straight away. In my opinion, because the garden is not big, uh, in my opinion, this property has, you know, everything for an old couple or elderly people to sort out even could be for a young family with their parents but for a young family if they want a bigger garden that would be a problem but all the rest is soft so this premise where we are now has insulation and wooden boards new wooden boards you can see on the ceiling perfectly done with insulation i can feel how cool it is compared with when you are outside and it's finished there where the garage starts also got water here you can see there's the water and these water pipes follow it these all water pipes go from the borehole in the garden where the christmas tree is behind the christmas tree we're going to see it in a while there is a borehole and all the water comes here from the borehole otherwise the property has its own government water and this is where the water meter is for the main government water so here have some cupboards and it's called like a maybe summer kitchen but i spoke with the owner and she said she's cook here all the time doesn't matter it's a winter or summer because she just come here put the the pan and cook, switch on the the oven etc and then she's go back home but it's insulation up there the house is here 
and you can close the door here because there is a door here. You can close the door here, and when the oven is works or the uh, the gas the gas uh, hop as well, you the only thing you can do is if you want, you can close this one. You can close this one with a like a sliding door, and then you have this premise. You can use it all the year, you know, with a right. If you put a stove here, even you can heat this premise because it's really good insulated okay so uh just to be clear we're still outside this is the garage back side of the garage we saw the nice life leaf life area garden beautiful one we discussed the house then then we got this and then after this we're going to see i'm just trying to show you because when you see the house at front it looks a bit small but this is where the house starts Going all this way, you can see the premises. Then one more here, then look at this. I'll just show you, I want you to see how it is. We start from there, go all this way. Here, go this, go this, then there, and then look at this. And then continue all the way up to there. Can you imagine? So again, we'll try to make it opposite. From there, go to here, look at this. Then we got premises here with the windows. Then we got another kitchen, beautiful one. Then we got all this way up to there, beautiful property. So this area here is the sitting summer sitting area. There's no sun here, which is good because you hide from the sun and it's nice and cool and you can enjoy drink, meal, food, whatever. So the owner said they spent all the summer here. This is where the, the countertop, cook, sink, you can wash all the plates, the oven I did show you there, you know, and the gas hob, and then again, the countertop. So. You don't need to go inside the house to cook, to put the bed smell, etc., to have a extractor or whatever. So the house is insulated everywhere, as you can see, again, with the same siding insulation. You have um, some access to the roof there, you see. So most important, which you need to mention is the main house finish here. And you can have a look and see this. This is where the main house finish. Start from there, going all the way, and finish, and this way. So all the buildings from here, all the way down to over there, used to be outbuildings and used to be a barns. So the living area has been extended from where the kitchen is. All this has been extended. So the barns has been converted up to here. All this has been converted from the barn to a living area. And the main important thing is all this is on the plan and all this is legal. So no problem at all. People pay for what they got, definitely. And what is in the plan, nothing different. From here, this one is on the plan like outbuilding, which is good. You can have a look and see, yeah. So you have workshop there and you have a storage here with electric and water down there, you can see the water. This water comes again from the borehole. This is where the borehole is and the pump, and it's here. So usually this one goes up there because you have a small garden here and the people want to water the garden with a borehole free of charge. And you have water go from here as well. You can see the pipe going this way, that way, turn right, turn right, turn right, then go then go this way you can have a look so the pipe comes from the borehole over there comes from the borehole going this way and continue over there we just been and i showed you and it's lovely lovely christmas tree garden you can make a nice christmas corner here nice christmas area look at this beautiful all the floor is concreted everywhere so you got concrete floor access clean cover up to here from the rain you can see and the roof here from the main house up to there is a brand new construction with a metal sheet roof which is really good 
and this roof is also insulated but if people want they can change with the tiles but there's no point of that stage to be to be done okay and i want to show you that the house has started from the main house you got one entrance access then you got this access then you got this axis and then you got another two axes for the two premises but this axis this axis and the main one bring up all to the house to the main house plus the additional goes to the living area of the house let's say this way we'll go inside and then we'll find out exactly where it is okay so we come back here now you saw the the borehole there and we got a small barbecue wonderful one brick built proper with a nice chimney and doing good job making things good tasty and smell good you can have a look and see yeah okay with a nice roof on it which means that you can you can have a look and see the roof which means that you can uh, do this even during the winter if it's snowing or if it's raining no problem at all you got the service surface here so it's it's really good fenced with the neighbor original stones doesn't look so flat it's a bit rough but i think it's in a good condition we're going to have a look and see it and the uh, insulation continue the same one siding all the windows pvc you can see the thickness of the brick walls as well and there is some bench there and two premises storage and workshop we're going to look to see them so this is where the garden finish you can see this is where the garden finish obviously they have an access with the neighbors but this is which means that they have a good neighbors if you keep the access with the neighbors this means that you have a good neighbors a proper fence not bad for dogs you can put dogs in one of these rooms even people with dogs and look at the fence they put this cover i can't say it's a proper color but it's a cover by concrete so should be holding them you know but even if you need to redo it it's not a such a big job from there up to here i mean not such a big job i mean not such a big um, size of it it's about maybe seven meters something like this if it's need to be redone you have the stones you can redo it but i think they keep it for a while now now in a good condition so look at this and i will move here so i can show you the metal roof proper metal roof with the sheets this way to cut the big piece of snow so from the main house you can see from the main house all this is with this metal roof with insulation in it and we got nice a chicken house i'm going to show you the chicken yeah nice and deep to be honest chicken house it's up to over there so this premise could be a dock place if they don't want people to keep uh hens or chickens so let's go and have a look the first premise this is what is we call workshop there is electric even three phase electric the ceilings are good and it's insulated the roof i can feel it the roof is insulated even it's with a metal sheet so this is a proper workshop you can keep it as a workshop or even if you want you can make it to a bedroom no problem at all one bedroom and that's it and you can make the next premise you can take one part of the next premise like one third of it and convert it to a toilet and bathroom with an access here or you can make this room bedroom and the other room bedroom with a one 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 toilet and bathroom or if it's me because the house is big and have enough bedrooms i'll keep this as a workshop or even if you want to make it put a swimming pool here because you can put a small swimming pool doesn't need to dig to be the building one it could be just a one above swimming pool you can keep all the stuff here like chairs umbrellas and stuff to clean the swimming pool it's a nice room really good and nice nice room and you got everything if you want to put the water there don't forget that you have the water comes from the comes from the borehole over there it's a proper size you can make a swimming pool like here then you can have the chairs or you can put the swimming pool so if you if you make this on three one two three equal parts you can put a swimming pool in the middle and you can have some surface with the chairs there and some surface with the chairs and umbrellas there it's a choice of everyone let's go and have a look at the storage and you can see the height height of the storage big one and it's a cool one so the other room is here at the back 
So what I said is, if you want, you can convert it, this one to a living room with toilet, bathroom, and not living room, it could be like a studio, one bedroom studio here, or you can keep it as a workshop. And I again will repeat with a, with a, maybe, I'm afraid I can get in boring, I can boring you, but it's just a, keep it as it is, beautiful one. Okay. Now, it's time to let me show you the house while I'm here, the roof from the back. I'll zoom for you. It's a really, really good roof. Let's jump on the roof. My friend, teenager, 14 years old, Rocky, never stopped moaning. He wants to play with me. Look at this, it's straight, proper gutters, plus to put the to add the proper insulation, everything is perfect. Look at this, and you will see the house, no any smell, no any moisture in the cellar as well. Here is the cellar, really, really good. So it's time to go in now.